Hi YouTube and welcome to another 360 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a VR360 video app for Android and we're going to be using the Unity game engine and the Google Cardboard SDK. So stay tuned. Virtual Reality 360 TV Hi guys and welcome back. Okay, before we start, um, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that you will need if you're a complete beginner to Unity. All the links will be in the description below, so don't worry about that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is Unity itself. So what you can do is you can download the personal edition, which is absolutely free, unless you're a developer earning, say, over a hundred grand a year. Okay, so download that and run the install. The next thing you will need is the Google Android Studio. This is this package is a little bit bigger, so it takes its time installing, so you just have to be patient with it. So install and run that. The next thing you will need is the Google Cardboard VR SDK. Okay, what you'll do is download that, run it, and I'll show you in a bit how to import the actual package into your Unity project. And finally, you need to go over to the Asset Store, the Unity Asset Store, and register on this. Um, the reason being is you can get an awful lot of free assets on, on this store. There's all kinds of stuff. And if you want to pay a little bit of money, there's some really interesting assets to get you going as well. Okay, so they're the things that you're going to need. So let's minimize that. Okay, so I've created a new project called um, 360 Video App. It's pretty straightforward. When you launch Unity, it will just ask you to create a new app, and which I've already done. Okie doke. So, first things first, I'm going to create a couple of folders in our main assets folder just to keep things nice and tidy. Um, so, all you do is you right click on the assets, go to create, create folder. And I'll just call this images. Okay, and then I'm going to create another one called video to put our video file in. You don't need to create folders, but it just keeps things tidy. And a good habit to um, to, to to have really, just for housekeeping purposes. Create another folder called shaders and scripts right so let's uh, first thing we'll do is import our Google SDK which I have got here so when you actually download it it comes in this install package so we'll just click on that click on the import that will import everything we need it does come with an awful lot of stuff this particular SDK it comes with demos and and sample scenes for you to have a play about with but I'm just gonna go and install everything and uh, I'll get back to that in a little bit okay so we've got that installed the next thing I just want to populate some of the folders with uh, some assets that we need. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight everything and drag them across. Okay, so we can drop our video file in there, drop our shader in there, our image in there, and our script in there. Don't worry about um, programming as well. If you've got no programming knowledge, that, that's okay for this particular tutorial. Okie doke. Right. So the first things first is we don't need our directional light because we're using video. It's gonna the shades are gonna you know it's gonna self illuminate, so we don't need to bother with that. So we'll delete that. So we've got a camera there. So let's. Uh, Make sure that the camera is set its position to zero. So you've got the X 
and the Y and the Z axis. All you need to do is make sure everything in there is set to zero. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sphere. So let's go to Game Object, 3D Object and Sphere. And again, we'll just make sure that the position is you know set to zero and everything. Let's go back to that camera. I don't know why that. Oh, it had the Y axis was set to one. There we go. Let's go back to the sphere. <coughs> put the scale about three just so the camera doesn't clip inside there we go the next thing we're going to do is create a new material and I'm just going to call this flip and what this does it basically it flips the image normal so you can look at it you can look at the image from inside an object because basically what happens with unity everything is rendered on the outside and not the inside and it just saves on computer resources because most of the time you don't need to know what is inside a three-dimensional object only what's on the outside but in our case we need to see it from the inside out okay so let's click on our material and pick our flip shader that we've imported. And then just drag that over to the sphere. So what we've got on the sphere now, we've got our new material, which has the, the flip shader that we installed. Okay, next thing is to drag the video onto the shader so let's go on to our video pull that across and as you can see when you drag the video across it opens up the um, the video component which we'll just put on loop for that <clears throat> right so we can look around within our, our 360 degree sphere we need to install the script as well now let's go back to assets go to scripts so there's that mouse look let's go to camera and all you need to do is drag the mouse look script over to your camera that will enable us to look around within the sphere now if we press play we should now see the video so now the video is running in 360 degrees this is um, a 360 video that I took using the Samsung Gear 360, the 2016 version, which is um, an excellent little camera. It's very cheap at the moment, and um, you get great results with it. And this is this is a video of Liverpool Town Centre. We've got um, the St George's Hall building at the top, Lime Street Station there. And that's the St. John's Centre. Okay. And we're just about to move off now. I'm stuck in traffic lights. So that is basically it for now for creating, you know, the video. It's pretty straightforward. So let's end that. So I'm going to save the scene. So I'll go File save scene as so that scene saved so the next thing to do is let's go to our build settings and we need to select android the platform android and switch platforms okay so that's switched platforms now add open scene so we've got our liverpool scene next go to player settings so the first thing is we can in fact, I have got to go back a, a step, so I'm sorry about this. Okay, so let's just go back to our assets and images. Okay, click on this live bed and then go to make sure it, the alpha is set as transparent. Okay, and then just apply that. Now, all I've done with this image is I just um, 
I just searched Google for a transparent um, Liverbird PNG. For anybody that doesn't know, that's kind of Liverpool's um, emblem, the Liverbird. So I thought, uh, since I'm doing a VR video of Liverpool Town Centre, I'll use the Liverbird as the icon for our app. Okay, right. So that's that. So let's go back to player settings and then we can add the icon. So that's added. Let's scroll down a bit. Now what we need to do is give it the package name. So it has to be within this naming convention. So it has to be com.company.something. So let's call that Liverpool. Okay, now we need to enable the virtual reality components of it. Virtual reality supported and then click on the little plus button and select Google Cardboard. Okay, now we need to set our API level. So the minimum API level will set to 19 and the target API is 24 that's the target one for my particular phone okay so it looks like we're about done on there just a side note as well if you want to push out the APK to your phone you will have to enable the developer mode on your phone now if you take a look at a previous video that I did how to build your first VR app near the end of that video I explain how to do it in a bit more detail so you're probably best watching that to do it okay so at this point I'm going to just click on build and run it automatically tries to save this the APK in the assets folder now if you do that you get an error so I just go back a step and put it in there okay and then we'll click save it will save the APK and it will also push it out to my to my phone like I said, you do need to enable the developing mode on there in order for it to work. Okay, so that's now pushed out to my phone. So it's now got a little icon on the phone itself, the little live bird that when I click on it, it can open up, as you can see, my VR app, I can put the phone now in in a headset such as Google Cardboard or just an off-the-shelf you know VR headset such as VR box or something like that and I've got a, a, a 360 VR app of Liverpool so that that's it in a nutshell so thanks very much for watching and as this is a new channel don't forget to subscribe it really is important to me trying to get as many subscribers as possible and uh, don't forget to like please leave a comment i will answer any questions that any of you guys ask so um, i look forward to seeing all the comments and again thanks very much and i'll see you guys soon thank you bye bye